Good day, listeners and viewers, supporters. This is Derek in NYC reporting on the Palestinian situation. Firstly, the situation in Palestine has reached a point whereby there is no going back. There is absolutely no going back for the Palestinians. Then, the Palestinians have to take a position, a strong position now going forward. Whoever represents the Palestinians politically must demand that Israel no longer have, must have control of their money, their supervision, their policing, their food, or anything with, to do with Palestinian survival or, or development ever going forward. The 1967 borders must be respected and must be the point where Palestinians will, be, will work towards getting their own sovereignty. I repeat, the 1967 borders will be the point or the demarcation that Palestinians must push and uh, demand for the sovereignty, which is one of their major, which is their major aspiration. Israel has no more control or ha should have received no more monies for Palestinians' development from anyone. Israel does not have the authority or the right to receive any money for Palestinians or Palestinian development from here on going forward because Israel is an occupier, an illegal occupier, and therefore has no legal authority to do or to be responsible for Palestinian affairs, ever. The political representative of the Palestine, both West Bank and Gaza, must come to this realization. They must work together towards these goals going forward. All monies received internationally for the development of Palestine towards a Palestinian state from the 1967 border must be enforced and must be worked towards by all concerned. In hitherto, the, the Israelis were in control of the water, the sewage, the food, traveling in and out for Palestinians would decide who comes and who goes, who lives and who dies, who gets what, when and how, how the finances should be managed, how it should be released, etc. That is no longer feasible and that is no longer accepted. Israel would have no more access to or control of anything to do with Palestine. Israel is an illegal occupier and that is what it is. Until Israel, until the Palestinians get their sovereignty, they, be, they will have nothing to do with Israel and its demands or, who, or, or its existence. They are a hostile neighbor and should be treated as such. They should no longer have sovereignty over Palestinians. They should no longer fly over with the airplanes, the aircraft, military, or otherwise in Palestinian airspace. They should no longer have control of the sea that Palestinians that are now control and, and prevent Palestinians from having access to or, or trade with. That is no longer feasible. The Palestinians must have access to the sea at all at any time they should trade whomever they so please because that is their water and that is their sea outlet for trade for foreign trade or trade via sea israel has no control over that they should no longer have control over that whether or not they think so or not whatever fears they have about palestinians that is their problem when you're occupying someone's house illegally you have all rights to be fearful whether you're Israeli or whatever, you're occupying a person's home illegally, you have every right to be fearful. That is your problem. If you don't want to have these fears, leave. Get the hell out. Or do not interfere with your neighbor who you're occupying or decide to work in peace and harmony with them until you can bring yourself together in order and accept that you are illegal, you have no right to be there, and your neighbors have more rights than you do because they're illegal, you are occupying your neighbor's land, and you should work in harmony and peace with the neighbor. Until you come to that realization, you will not, no one will pay you no mind. The Palestinians should not pay you any mind and should continue to fight you at every level they can to ensure to make you understand that you are an illegal occupier. You are not welcome there. And we will not subject ourselves to you and your demands ever. And there is no turning back now. No turning back. We have lost too many lives. Men, women and children. We have lost our homes. We have lost our future. 
and we will no longer sit back and allow you to permanently erase us from this space we call Palestine. This will never happen, ever. As they say over our dead bodies, you'll have to do this to the last Palestinian. We will never sit back and lay back and lie over and roll over and play dead because you so demand that you demand it. Oh no, this will never happen, ever. Not as, it, not as the Palestinians alive in the diaspora or in Gaza or the West Bank. You will never have your wish to eradicate the Palestinians from Gaza and the West Bank ever so long as the Palestinian exists in the diaspora. This I promise you. Let it be written and let it be done.